that's how it was back then, or that's how I was raised, are common responses I've heard from people who still use toxic methods of parenting. Today, we are discussing parenting styles. Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah from Trauma Recovery Coaching. I'm a certified coach specializing in abuse recovery from narcissistic, sociopathic, and psychopathic abuse. There are many excuses that people use to disregard abusive and neglectful parenting, if we can even call that parenting. The most common excuse that I hear has been the fact that people use the phrase, back when I was a child, we didn't have what they have today. That can be very true. We can't expect people to know what they didn't have access to. But if you are a parent with children now, there are many resources. There are many psychological studies and research articles that support different parenting styles that are more effective than what was previously the norm. We can't hold on to outdated techniques that aren't effective and instill fear or uninvolvement instead of respect, boundaries, structures, empathy, guidance, and love. We have to acknowledge what hasn't worked and grow from this. What hurt us when we were children? What do we wish was different about our upbringing? We need to strive for the new generation to surpass the previous one and make the necessary change so our society is better than what it was before. I've seen many parents cringe at the term gentle parenting because they think it means that the child will always get their way and the parent gives the child all control. And the parent just lets their child do whatever they want. No, that's not what it means at all. Gentle parenting is being misrepresented as permissive parenting or uninvolved parenting, which are two parenting styles that have harmful or negative results on children. Let's talk about parenting styles. There are four main parenting styles. Sometimes parents border two or more styles at the same time, or each parent has a different style that they think is the best, or parents parent each child differently, which is common in a scapegoat golden child dysfunctional family dynamic. What is permissive parenting? Permissive parenting is a child-driven parenting style. The parents rarely or never enforce rules or boundaries. The parents overindulge their children to keep the peace and to keep their child happy to avoid parent-child conflict. This is the parenting style where the children always get their way. Bad behavior is not corrected. It is instead accepted and the parents adapt to their child's bad behavior. Permissive parenting is dangerous in many ways. It sets the child up for entitlement. It teaches the child that they do not have to respect or listen to authority figures or respect anyone's boundaries or opinions. What is uninvolved parenting? Uninvolved parenting is just like it sounds. It's uninvolved and it's neglectful. Parents do not meet their children's basic needs in both physical or emotional ways. Children are left to fend for themselves as their parents are dismissive or indifferent. This parenting style clearly has negative effects on children and often makes it hard for these children later on in life. These parents often are preoccupied with their own adult issues to focus on any need that their child has. They do not show warmth and love to their children and typically don't attend school events, parent-teacher conferences, or extracurricular activities that their child is involved with. They do not set standards or boundaries, and the children of these parents do not have any guidance or supervision. What is authoritarian parenting? What is authoritarian parenting? Authoritarian parenting is a very strict parenting style that often uses fear-based tactics. This parenting style is often referred to as militaristic. It places extremely high expectations onto the child while the parent focuses on obedience, control, and discipline, which many parents confuse and use punishment instead of discipline in this parenting style. Parents in this parenting style are all about control. They do not feel the need to explain anything to their children and do not allow their children to talk back, which in my opinion, this back talking is not something done to be disrespectful in most cases. Children and adolescents may not know why they are being told to do certain things. They do not have adult brains. They are learning and they are mimicking what they see. The tone the parent uses to the child is often what the parent will receive. Phrases like, do as you're told, 
because I said so. I'm the parent are common from parents who use authoritarian parenting. Authoritarian parents are typically not nurturing and they punish mistakes. This parenting type uses yelling and corporal punishment as their discipline. What is authoritative parenting? Authoritative parenting is also more recently known as gentle parenting, responsive parenting, and positive parenting. Parents who use this parenting style are nurturing, responsive, and supportive, but they set firm and consistent boundaries for their children. Parents attempt to control children's behavior by explaining rules, discussing, and reasoning. These parents will listen to their child's viewpoint, but don't always accept it when they do know that the child is wrong. These parents guide their children and use empathy to understand their children. Authoritative parenting has been the most desired and is reported as the most effective parenting style. Discussing parenting styles is important when we have only been raised in dysfunction, when we are survivors of familial abuse. It's important that we learn to break the cycle of toxicity with having the available resources for parenting and having a healthy family of your own. What parenting styles did you grow up with? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for listening.